As you might know, accessing the browser on the PS5 and by extension the portal is quite challenging, but there are still a few methods to access the browser on the PS5 and then in turn the PS portal. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. And oddly enough, the portal actually does have its own internal browser. You can actually see it when they do put out an update and you view the patch notes, it opens a little browser window, but there's no URLs on that page to access or ways to open that browser besides that that I've seen. Previously, the exploits to access the web browser in the PS5 were opening the support page through the settings, and then there was a YouTube button on the bottom of that page that would open the PlayStation YouTube channel, but Sony has removed that from the website. And then the next exploit that people would use was just typing google.com and sending a message to your friend, and you'd be able to click that link on the PS5 system. That was also patched out. Sony disabled google.com from appearing as a URL in PlayStation messaging. So another option is using Bing or going straight to YouTube or YouTube video or something like that. But something like Bing is obviously easier to type if you're on the PlayStation portal. Unfortunately, I'm sure Sony will be patching that out soon because quite a few videos have brought that up as a current exploit. So in addition to that option, I also made this little web page on my site, cacboy.com slash PS5. And this is a little dashboard that'll show you a bunch of the most popular websites. And then type in cacboy.com slash PS5, send that URL to anyone on your PSN account. I think most people have that one friend that stopped using their PSN after the PS3 days, stopped playing games. So you can just send them a message that they'll never see. Click that URL on your PS5 and it will open up the browser and you can see all these websites and click wherever you want. A little bonus thing I've added is if you click the Wikipedia link, it'll go directly to this Wikipedia article that dynamically lists the most popular websites in the world. So there's a few more options in that list if you want. I just listed a few more common ones for myself, but you can always click Wikipedia if you want to see more options. And you can actually pin the browser to the side and keep it in the background and stuff. So the full features are there. So it's just kind of weird that they don't want people to be using the browser, but they still have all these special features for this browser window. But uh, besides that, I guess only time will tell if Sony just outright disables link sharing in PlayStation messaging. I feel like they will at some point because they really don't want people to access the browser on their systems anymore. Another interesting thing that I found is you cannot send bit.ly links. <laughs> I actually tried that and then Sony actually gave me a warning that I breached their terms of use, which is pretty scary for me, but so don't send bit.ly links on PSN. Some other great options that you might want to check is enabling JavaScript and cookies. If you're actually trying to sign into different services, you might have to disable this option. For example, I was trying to sign into my Google account on another service and it was hanging up and then I disabled that option and then it was able to share the cookies with Google and get me logged in. Unfortunately, on the portal, you can't use the zoom options from accessibility so you can't actually make this browser window full screen which is a huge pain and in some ways makes this useless but you can still watch youtube videos and i actually managed to watch some of my plex videos on my portal which was pretty funny but yeah no full screen is a huge letdown but i'll put my url down in the description so you can just copy and paste that send it to someone on psn and get it going there you go that's how you access the browser on your playstation portal and your PS5 by extension. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And let me know if the website works for you. Let me know when it stops working, if it does. And let me know if you want any websites. Maybe I'll give it a little update with some more websites that you want listed there. Bye bye.